Welcome to the Mathematics MI channel. Today we are going to solve another interesting elliptic integral. Integral from 4 to 6 dx over the square root of x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. Okay, how to begin? First, I am going to take a substitution. So if we take t is equal to the square root of x minus 3, then square both sides so t square is equal to x minus 3 now differentiate so 2 times t dt is equal to dx now we should change the lower limit and upper limit when x approaches to 4 lower limit when x approaches to 4 we know t approaches to 1 and upper limit when x approaches to 6 t approaches to 6 minus 3 3 so square root of 3 now we can substitute here so now limit is um, 1 to square root of 3 so 1 to square root of 3 now dx is equal to 2 times t dt so 2 is a constant and here t times dt over now square root of x minus 1 now x minus 1 is equal to t square plus 2 so t square plus 2 and here x minus 2 x minus 2 is equal to t square plus 1 times x minus 3 is equal to t square so here t square and we know square root of t square is equal to t and then t here t square get cancelled and now for this integral I am going to take another substitution so if we take t is equal to tan of theta then dt is equal to secant square of theta d theta and now we should change the limit when t approaches to 1 lower limit we know theta approaches to pi over 4 upper limit when t approaches to square root of 3 we know theta approaches to pi over 3 okay now we can plug in here so here now 2 now limit lower limit pi over 4 upper limit pi over 3 and here dt dt is equal to secant square of theta d theta over now t is equal to tan square of theta plus 2 and here t is equal to tan square of theta so tan square of theta plus 1 we know secant square of theta well now next step 2 times integral from 5 over 4 to 5 over 3 here secant square of theta d theta over now here we can uh, simplify like we know 1 plus tan square of theta is equal to secant square of theta so we can write secant square of theta plus 1 uh, here we know secant square of theta okay then uh, next step here 2 pi over 4 to pi over 3 here secant square of theta over now here we can simplify secant square of theta we know 1 over cosine square of theta so cosine square of theta plus 1 over cosine square of theta secant square of theta and then we know here 1 over cosine square of theta we know secant square of theta then here secant uh, secant to the fourth power of theta and square root so here we know these terms get cancelled and then next step we know this is equal to 2 times pi over 4 to pi over 3 uh, here sorry here d theta and d theta over now 1 plus cosine square of theta we know 1 plus cosine square of theta we can write 1 minus uh, sine square of theta so here now we have 2 times integral from pi over 4 to pi over 3 d theta over 
1 plus 1 2 2 minus sine square of theta and then here we have a 2 so we can take 2 as a common factor so 2 over square root of 2 pi over 4 to pi over 3 d theta over square root of 1 minus 1 over 2 sine square of theta and now here we can simplify square root of 2 integral form pi over 4 to pi over 3 d theta over 1 minus 1 half square sine square of theta okay now this is familiar with us because we know um, the complete elliptic integral of the first kind we can write 0 to the general case 0 to pi over 2 d theta over square root of 1 minus k square sine square of theta is equal to f of here k as here pi over 2 okay therefore we can write our answer square root of 2 uh, f of uh, now here 1 over uh, here 1 over 2 sorry here 1 over square root of 2 square so 1 over square root of 2 upper limit now pi over 3 uh, minus f of uh, now here 1 over square root of 2 and uh, lower limit pi over 4 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching